themselves up. It can be hard to play post plant on this B site though, so we'll have to see what Sentinels will do in response to this rip. Spam from lower. I wonder when B would come into the mix. Mystic goes down. Hunter's Fury comes across. And they're going to look to plan again. Durka now focused on that as the rest of the team is focused on the angles. And a nice hold from Magnum. He's in mid. They're kind of trying to organize how they want to play this. Because two members of uh, Sentinels are on each side of B. Yeah, the ailing ceiling split through to the sites. Fnatic playing quite a few players on, on the sites. This actually might be quite helpful for Fnatic's chances to hold this. It comes the first swing. There's no trade, though, at all. Set, well, eventually, Tens will find it. In fact, he gets Boaster as well up on top of the structure. We'll see what else Tens can find here as he looms above. Ever dangerous. Doma takes down absolutely everybody except Tens. Can he find him? No. Tens from above. Able to take down Doma, the last player standing. And that's the defuse in... Well, I was going to say in the nick of time. In fact, there was plenty of time there for Tens. And that's a 3-2 yeah. finish. Uh, the retakes are so scary. And again, uh, that looked like a bit of a flustered hold. Three people on the front. Magnum actually left his position and window to pull up. And it's because once you're smoked out on mid, it's actually so hard to regain that position back and just fire through at somebody defusing the spike. So here it gets really clustered inside B, even with the forward plant, right? Even with the plant for someone in window, Fnatic weren't playing for that. And it seems like they're getting sorted now by, by Sentinel.